I went to, I was born in Japan. I went to school and then to graduate high school there. And then later after that, I got the uh, sushi restaurant job. You know, so I learned how to make sushi, sashimi. And then, actually I don't, I don't want to describe anybody, any, any food. So I, I, I try to create on my own. So, but uh, I respect everybody. And I don't mind, you know, kind of the copy from the other technique. So any technique from uh, Europe, you know, South America, you know, you, you know it's, uh, China, Korea, whatever. So that's uh, my you know, type of the cuisine. I respect everybody, anything, but I do like to make my own. I, actually, I have one, only one rule I have. No rule is my rule. So I came here, this country, uh, 1985, so it's 30 years old, okay? So if I want to do something I'm doing, we are doing that right now, we can. We couldn't make it because of no ingredient, you know. So now the time, you know, we, we are not changing, so you are not changing. So time, you know, has been come. So that's what we can do. Anything you want, we want. We, we are very interesting in Western culture. So every, you know, it's a culture. So of course we have lots of the, you know, so fast food, you know, hamburgers, and then chocolate, ice cream, and then chicken, so tacos, a lot of stuff from here, you know. So young, young generation doesn't eat rice much. Now bread and burger, you know, sometimes cereal. What a serious, you know, my age. So you are really interested in coming, you know, different culture from different, you know, country because we are very close to each other, internet, TV, radio, whatever, you know. You can, something, you can watch everything. What we, what we do in Japan, what somebody does in Shanghai, you know, what about London, and then very few closers. That's why you, you, are, you have interest in the other country, uh, yeah, culture, including food, everything. You know, so you already close to each other though. We don't have to so mention something or much closer. We are already, a few years ago, maybe mm, 2007, so here was the, uh, just uh, Japan. So I was owner of the chef, you know, you know. So since then, seven years, so people come really with changing members and then I'm very honored to be here again. So representative of the uh, Asian food. And then it's getting more wider, wider from everywhere. So Singapore, China, you know, Hong Kong, you know, Taiwan, and uh, and then so I'm very appreciate doing. Uh, yesterday we did the demo, two sessions. First one Japanese team, and then was the second, right? And then Chef Christopher <laughs> so did the demo with the Japanese team. You know, that's, that's, you know, we mentioned that uh, a culture already crossed over, you know. So he didn't do uh, exactly Japanese food, cuisine, but uh, he used some kind of the apple leaf instead of the, like, a uh, cherry blossom leaf. That's kind of mind technique already, you know, crossed over. So that's, I feel, much, much more than last time, so, which is uh, 2007. And a lot of people are curious about, oh, what's the next boom in this country? Right? Sushi came and this came, and then now the ramen boom, which is ramen, ramen noodle, which is you ate it. And then so lots of ramen, you know, like a, a chef came here. So, so ramen is a very interesting thing. And then, so Japanese tourist bureau, you know, so expand that uh, the people coming from outside to the Japan. So what's the more interesting food? Of course, sushi is number one. Second, ramen. <laughs> I'm very interested in ramen. So sometimes I do so ramen store in Manhattan. When I was a kid, little, my age, actually, we don't have any culinary school in there. Very few, very few. So everybody, you know, work in the restaurants. So from the uh, in bottom. So this was uh, Busboy, runners, delivery man, and then, you know, help uh, lying and whatever. So now it's quite popular in the culinary school in Japan also. It's like a Tokyo area and uh, so metropolitans. So that's a good thing too, you know. 
So maybe you, you can go one year, two years, you know, knowledge-wise here, okay? Knowledge-wise, bigger, but I don't know, I don't know, you know, so very important here. So especially in Japan, okay, after graduate high school, 18 years old, and then once go to college, university, four years, but oh, I don't want to go to college, university, you know, oh, okay, something, you know, special school, like, it's like, I, you know, internet, or maybe hair makeup, or cooking school. So lots of people like that. So two more years, you know, easy life. No, no, no. Spend money to learn, okay, have to be more serious. And then you don't have to decide, the, uh, make, decide which one you go. So still you're young, you, you can have the lot of experience. So any, try the, any, any kind of food, any type of cuisine, you know, so that's the thing. So I usually, a lot of people ask me, oh, can I get a holograph? I write down, yume wa okiku, ne wa fukaku, which is a yume means dreams, okay? You can have big dreams, but you better have the uh, deep foundation at the same time. Big dreams and the deep foundation. If, okay, you, everybody can have the uh, big dream, but, you know, show, foundation, and fail. So you make foundation first, then, Big change.